What's going on guys, Non-Tactical Dad here. Different type of video today, no gameplay unfortunately, but I wanted to do a how-to video for people that were interested in creating their own gaming channel, and uploading clips, shorts, whatever it is. Um, and I want to show you guys how to do it. Um, I started doing it a while ago and I'm enjoying it. Um, I have a motivation and fire to do it. And so I wanted to share it in case anybody else wants to do the same thing. The way that I'm showing you, you can do it completely for free. The software that I use, I use OBS to record and then I use DaVinci Resolve Studio to edit. DaVinci Resolve has two versions, the studio version that's paid, it's a couple hundred bucks, then they have a free version. In the paid version, you can do AI generated subtitles. You can also do this in the free version, but you have to manually do it. Before I had the paid version, I was using the free version and it worked just fine. But let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. I'll show you how I have things set up. Right. Um, the longest part of the process is creating a template. Then you can just drop, drag footage in, do a couple quick things and then start editing it and export it. Then you can get a clip out really, really fast. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So this is my timeline. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my export settings just so you can see what my project, like the dimensions and stuff. All right, so yeah, I export in QuickTime. The codec is um, H.265, they have a 264 but the 265 is the most modern one this is just essentially how it's going to run to the codec that it's going to use um then the encoder um they have native right but if you have a graphics card i have a i have an nvidia um 3070 ti so pretty good card um, it'll utilize that to render things so it renders a little bit faster and then this is the resolution right i have these vertical resolution selected Frame rate is 60 seconds, 60 frames per second. Um, quality automatic best. And so if you're using the free version, a couple of these would be different. Um, but for the most part, a lot of things like right here, the like automatic quality best, default keyframe automatic profile main, a lot of these are gonna be pretty much the same. Um, and then you can play around these based off your desired, you know, how big or small you want the file. Um, obviously, if you do higher quality files, it'd be a little bit bigger. If you do, do if you do two passes, um, that's going to take longer to render, right? stuff like that. Um, and then as far as subtitles, I have those burns into the video. And on the advanced settings, um, I have all of these select. As far as audio, I use the linear um, PCM. Or that this is the best way for like uncompressed audio. So I have that set up right here like that. 4800, 24. Yep. Then I normalize the audio for YouTube. If your audio is exported too high, um, YouTube is going to bring the volume down so you don't make people go deaf or bust their eardrum. All right, so those are the settings. Let's jump into the actual timeline. So the way that I have my timeline set up, I'll show you a video that I already did. This is a video that I already did. This is the text right here, All right? So I normally have um, some regular text and I put the caption there. That's just the main caption that stays on the screen. I have two video layers and I'll show you guys why in a second. And then I have my audio layer. So this is me talking to them. When I record my footage, I record a bunch of different audio tracks and I separate them. It allows me to have more customization I have myself in one track, I have the gameplay in one track, I have the game chat in another track, and then I have another track. If I'm doing a review video or a react video, that's called desktop audio. So everything outside of the game, like if I'm watching a YouTube video, the audio from the actual desktop. The reason I do that is, is that if I'm playing and somebody says some slurs or they decide to curse and go crazy, I can just um, edit out that audio, like mute them, leap them, add a funny sound effect um, without having to cut out video footage. All right, so that's why I have, this is like an edited video. And if you zoom out, you can see that I like to work out of one timeline. So this is like my fish shoot timeline. I, I, I call it nine by 16 gameplay. No, no, I like to streamline everything. I like to see old footage. If I want to make a compilation, I can grab from here and pull it over there. And it allows me to copy settings from one file to another and i'll show you that in a second i want to grab some footage and drag it in here you have the video and then you have the audio okay so the first thing that you want to do is click this um unlink button 
right? And that's going to allow you to move the video independently from the audio. But you, you really don't want to move it because that'll take it out of sync. So um, I'll relink it, show you guys what that looks like, then I'll unlink it. And the reason that we're going to unlink it is because we want to duplicate the video. And normally when you see this type of, um, when you see like TikToks stuff, you see the camera and then you see the gameplay. Um, I'm going to show you how to set that up. There are plugins that do that for you. You set it up in OBS and then you can just record like that, like your camera appearing in the gameplay clips down there, but it limits you on editing it later, right? I can um, zoom, I can pan, I can punch in and not lose a lot of quality by doing all of this here and formatting it for a cell phone. Okay, so you're going to take this top layer and just you're going to take the video layer and just duplicate it. So now you got two layers of video. And I'll show you what that looks like. So if you zoom in, you can see how you have the two layers, right? Um, and now what you want to do, you're just going to link everything back. So right click and hit link clip so you can do control alt L. All right, so now I'm going to click this again. So the, the first, so this right click link clips is basically telling them, telling the software that all these clips are linked. And then this little chain link is saying enable um, the link function, right? All the clips that are linked, let's, um, let me move them linked together. So now I can move all of these linked. So now you want to format this. I'm going to unlink it because we're going to be working on just the top layer. Select the video, go make sure you're inspector. Click that and it's going to bring up these options here on the transform. So you can zoom. Then you can move, right? Move up and down along the X and the Y axis. So I'm going to move this along the move this up right here zoom it in over and then i'm just going to find where i want the camera to be positioned and try to get that in the middle and so then you can also click this camera right here click transform and then just kind of free free um transform this and like scale it i'm gonna take this and i like to put this in the middle on this up right here zoom it up Yep, and then you're good to go. Okay, so I'll unclick that. And now we're going to crop this because now it's really zoomed in. We're going to crop from bottom. All right, boom. Now you have your video footage, right? So now if I play this, you see this already looks better. Like this is good, good to go by itself. What we're going to do, we're going to edit the bottom layer and just um, instead of zooming in, we're going to zoom out a little bit. And then we're going to position this the way we want. It's down right here, and then I'll punch in right. And this right here is all that you really need. So if you just wanted to edit this, you could, and then just export it. But you can make it look better. So what I then would do, I would. So now we're still setting up the template. Remember that. So now what I would do, um, we'll go to effects, we'll go to titles, and go to text and drag a text layer here. I will drag this, zoom in. We'll drag this the length of the entire unedited clip. So now you have a basic title. It's here. Let's get this out a little bit. Pick something cool, or you can just make it bold. Me, I like to do like a semi-bold or just a, a regular bold. Nothing too crazy. Semi looks cool. So the way that I do this, me personally, I like to have the, a white background. So let's go ahead and to the background. Yeah, so me, I like to do white background and opacity all the way up to 100. You can just make the width go across screen or if you just want that kind of like um, text effect, you can do that. Change the color of the text to black. Boom. And then you would position this right here or wherever you want it. Me, I like to do mouse right here on this line. All right, because it really doesn't block the gameplay and it doesn't block my face. So now this is essentially your, your template. Lock this layer. So this is the text because we're going to edit these layers underneath. Right? But we just want to keep this here and have this here so we don't lose it. 
So I'm going to scroll over these. Make sure that they're linked and then turn this back on. So now we can find the clip that we want. So you can do a compilation or you can just find a specific clip. There's a clip that I like right here. Where's it? And I'll snipe this guy off this bridge. Yeah, this is it right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit this. All right, so you can just split this and then delete the part that you want, or you can set up some, I have a bunch of hotkeys set up, so I can quickly delete that. So now you see I have the clip, so that's that's the clip right there. So earlier I said that you can copy the attributes and properties from one clip to another. This was the previous footage that I already edited, and this is, this has everything in the exact position, the exact zoom, right, the exact style that I want. So I can copy, I right click and go to copy and go to the new clip. All right, so I'm scroll over on time on here. Right, and this is the new clip that I just, you know, kind of formatted. But I was kind of doing it rough, right? So if I right click and go to paste attributes or alt V, I can come here and paste the attributes. Um, so, you know, in effect, opacity scale the zoom the crops from the other video into this video right so it just did that right you just saw that right so that's how it was originally boom and it zoomed in okay so then i can do the same thing with the footage layer underneath come here Right click, you can right click and then hit copy or control C. All right, then come back here to your video, your bottom layer this time, and Alt V, hit apply. All right. So you can see how I adjusted it. For me, I always keep some footage on the timeline that has the properties and the attributes that I want. So I can just copy them over. So essentially you have your template and you've just edited the video. And now if you want to add anything else, if you want to add some effects, you want to add some sound, some music, you can. Then you just come here, go to export, do your in and outs. So I would be the in and out. You hit E O. Title it. Amazing shots. But first, you want to make sure that you have your template. You put the correct settings in, right? So make sure you have these settings. Me, I'm going to make sure I select my shorts. Yep. Then, location shot. Render. It's going to ask me, do I want to do it? Because I always um, render at a higher resolution. So instead of just doing 1080p standard high def, I do um, 2K or 4K. Add, and then I'll hit render. Um, but yeah, I just rendered it, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Video. Now you have this, right? So this is your footage. And essentially this is your working template going forward. If you wanted to, you can remove any other footage that you had, and this can just be your working template. So next time you have some footage, let's just say you dragged and dropped um, something like this. Just drag a, drag something. I'll do the same file. I'll walk through it again and show you how fast it is once you have the template set up. And once you have the template set up, um, we're going to follow the steps that we just did. Make sure that this is unlinked, duplicated, boom. Right. You can just copy this too. You can duplicate the text. Boom. Drag it across the layer, lock it. All right. Then we're going to do our copies to copy the attributes. Copy. So control C, then control, then alt B. Boom. 
Oh, see what it just did. Right. So then you go to the bottom layer. Control C. Alt V. Apply. Now you just got this. Now you got your. Now you have essentially the setup that you need. Now you can just link all link everything together. Link clips. Make sure you turn the link. Um, make sure you turn the link selection on. Now you can edit on the clip that you want. Let's say it's this one. This one. What's up? In and out. Render. You have another now you have another clip. And if you have one video and you have a bunch of different like moments in it, you can turn all of those into clips. Alright, so if I come back here, I should say that all right, I should say that I had this was one. 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 To all of these, let's just say hypothetically, all of these were like clips. This, this, and the way that I'm duplicating this without having to right click, I'm just holding Alt and dragging it, and it like drags a duplicate. Here, boom, 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 boom. Right. So now you got all your different clips. And now if you wanted to um, render all of these clips, you just come here. Right. You do in. Out. So then you would right name this one and hit add to render queue. Let's say we do clip one. Add to render queue. So you see you have clip one there. In, out, out of that clip two, add to run to queue, in, out, clip three, add to run to queue, add this last one, in, out, clip four, add to run to queue. Then you just hit render all. So just make sure all of these are selected. Hit render all of them. And then it'll render all the clips for you, right? It'll do it automatically. So you don't have to do it like one after another. You just have them all in the queue and it'll just go through one by one and render all your clips. All right. So there it is. That's my workflow on how I create gaming content for my YouTube channel. I hope it helps and I hope you find value in it. If you have found value in it, um, please like the video, consider subscribing if you like the gaming content. If you want more videos like this, um, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you have any suggestions to make the process or workflow better, leave those in the comments too. And I'll see you in the next video. Appreciate you. See you in the next one.